Hello everybody, I'm Dylan Young, and today we're going to be learning how to actually take care of a turtle. Now, turtles are little, they are organisms that have, they are reptiles, not amphibians, although they do live in water, and they have a shell. And today we're going to be learning how to set up a t uh, your tank for a baby turtle which should be sounding pretty interesting. Now, a baby turtle you cannot get in stores because it's illegal to sell turtles less than four inches long. And so you, I had to go out into the creek behind my house and capture these little guys. Now you just cleared everything out of the way just for this video so I can show you guys how to actually take care of a turtle. Now first you're going to need an appropriate size tank. Now this is a perfect tank, although it's for frogs, but they never sent fro by frogs in the mail, so I was pretty ticked off about that. And artificial rocks and grass, and even a nice little biome back here, which is... So yeah, anyway, that's my mom, she just came in, she gave me a chocolate. Anyway, now Prissy Pants, which is Prissy Pants, Prissy Space Pants, and of course she made all those crappy weapon videos, but she's an awesome friend of mine. So why not you just go look up one of her videos and subscribe because, she, or like her videos because she's pretty funny. She makes me laugh all the time. Anyway. For a turtle about that big, this is a pretty appropriate. A water area, little island. Now, for we're gonna be learning about red ear sliders, okay? This is. I've ever seen the heat lamp over here. Basically, not a heat lamp, but I'll tell you what, why that's there. Prissy pants, however, she went out and caught the turtles for me, so I was like, ooh, awesome face. Now, you want to set the water at room temperature, which is like, I'm not saying scalding hot or freezing cold. No. You would want room temperature water. And we're going to do that. First, you take a cup. And at first, you might want to just clean it out a little bit with a nice... Because, yeah, especially if this tank has been used a lot. I used, I had a, an old lizard and I put it into this tank because I had no, I, now an old, I'll get to an old lizard and uh, when I get another, a new one. Unfortunately, I did not have a laptop at that time, so. If you want to get an old lizard, you're only, just go down to Pet, like Petco or PetSmart. Or, and they have those little lizards for like $7.00. Or it's eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. I paid to want mine with nine dollars. It might not have its money. Anyway. First of all, you take a nice little cup just like this. Now room temperature water, like I had said. I might just want to throw in a little bit of heatness in there. It's winter, okay? It's winter. And yes, I'm wearing the purple shirt because Purple is awesome. It's my favorite color. So a little hot water. Now that's room temperature. And all you do is just nicely you see that orange line just right there. That's what, for the frogs, that's what you normally would put it at, but this is turtles, so they need to be able to haul themselves out of water, so. Let's add a little bit more in there, shall we? Now, these turtles are used to swimming in that cold creek water, and I just found two adult turtles earlier today, in case you haven't noticed. But of course, I would not exactly 
flood this whole thing. Because your turtles need, red deer sliders need basking. They need to bask. These are not musk turtles. Musk turtles don't really bask a lot, but I would still give them a little land. Because they're adventurous, I guess. Pretty lazy, but they smell awful. I used to have a musk turtle. They smell awful. And of course, now that you have the nice room temperature or water, now all you need are rocks. Huh, ba a nice basket rocks too. Not these rocks are rocks that are down at the creek, and I see that that are pretty good at just absorbing heat. And they so I troke. And also I had this so that. That the turtles could just come up under here too. Like they can just come up and so they can go under there and have some privacy. Now a good another thing to notice that I oh yeah, some so old that it was this thing fell off. Artificial grass. Anyway, this is also nice foliage, which allows the turtles to just hide underneath. Turtles like to hide, okay? Especially one of my turtles, you'll see him in a little bit. Yes, I said him. Now, there's a thing for, for noticing the gender of turtles. The gender... And I'll show you that right now because now we're going to place in the turtles. Here, Prissy Pants actually went out and she caught these little guys for me. Now this is the one that's the hider. He's and they're a little bit nervous to eat, but these two they'll just eat. If there's food in the water, they'll eat it. You okay, little guy? Anyway, here I'm going to put him in the water. Now I want you to notice how that bottom shell is kind of like protrude, sticking out. Oh, and by the way, this sh this little turtle right here, she I want I want to ask you viewers that had her eyes sometimes close and um, when she's in the and then they'll open there. That's why they kind of look weird. If you look closely, they look a little bit weird. If you guys could just help me out with that, that would be awesome face. And I hope it's not a contagious disease because, or a disease that, because I'm planning on breeding hers. So I'll let you guys know when that kind of comes, but, I'll, but these are baby girls. Another thing to notice how her shell is actually darker than the males. So you can see right here, this is the female, this is the male. This was the first turtle that Prissy Pants has caught for me because she's just awesome. We were down at the creek and she just all of a sudden started went after something and she pulled out this little guy underneath out a rock. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, look how the males the male shell is just kind of protruding upwards and not sticking out. Uh, like this FIBA one right here. On the smallest turtle, he apparently has little black dots on his, on his shell. And I, so I think I know how to tell my turtles apart right now because this one's the most recent one that Prissy Pants has caught for me. And for all you turtle owners, it would be nice if you have like a little heat lamp. Oh, you can see here. Let me show you. You can see how one of the turtles just made this barge his way from underneath this rock. If I just do that, oh, you see him. Sorry, little guy. That one's the hider. He hides a lot. Here might be the best way to just place the camera like this. This is another pretty cool rock, but and notice how 
the rocks you find in, uh, down at the creek, they are a little bit... And of course, I, if you do have a baby turtle, and if you tried everything, like fish or bugs or mm, hot, sliced up hot dogs, doesn't work. But unfortunately for me, and Prissy, Prissy Pants told me that the best thing to feed a baby turtle is baby shrimp. And that's apparent. <laughs> apparently, sh and I'll show you what they look like. And the best. And what these little guys eat is, I like this in this company. I will be right back because I have to go get the food. I, when I was setting up, I totally forgot about it. I'm so sorry, guys. Just watch the turtles swim around and observe how they act for a little while. And see if, thumbs up if you can see that hello, hello female one right there moves. Sorry if it took so long. Apparently, I'm accidentally running low on this, but this is Red Shrimp, and it's large, sun-dried, and it's by Zoomed, and I thank you guys so much if you guys are watching, if Zoomed is watching this right now. And this also has um, dried up fish in there, which is pretty, pretty funny when the trolls be like, grand, they're like, oh my god, it's, it's a weird deformed shrimp. By the way, it's like this. Ain't, this, this, this does not taste like shrimp. But I would. I have not tasted it for myself. But this is what the baby shrimp will. These shrimp will look like. And this is pretty much just what I feed them. And of course, these little shrimp come in all different sizes. Oh, here's a good one right here. Oh, look, look at her. She is going up on that rock like she just does not care. She has no regard. This is a nice little one like this. Oh, you can see him. He's just, I named him Rain. And he's just, oh, he's just killing it. Quit killing the shrimp. This one will also eat too, but never ever eat for use soap to clean out the turtle tank if you do the because th there are some things in soap that would actually kill turtles so I'll just you know even if it smells I think you'd rather have a smelly tank than a dead dead turtles anyway Oh, oh. My little female one is just about to bite that little. As you can see. And this is just what my turtles will go through. Now, the one in the rock is a. Underneath the rock is a shy eater. And of course, the turtles would not eat it on land. That's why I specifically placed it in water. Oh, that turtle's just getting a little bit jealous. Here, I'll distract you. Come on. Can't princess get some? Can't prince. Oh, see, look. Deformed shrimp. Which is really a dried fish. Mm. But anyway, that was my... A video for how to take care of a if you have any any concerns or you want me to say more tips about how to take care of little baby turtles I would suggest simply asking an expert <laughs> or you could just leave them in the comment box because I read, Prissy Pants researches these animals all the time. She absolutely adores reptiles. Unlike most girls. Most girls, when they see a snake, they're like, eee! So if you like the, the commentary,
here and you enjoyed the video, oh, you could just just type in the uh, and some things that I facts about turtles that Princey Pants never told me or never even knew about, and I she didn't tell me. Or if you have your own little pet turtle and you want and you have another concern besides my little closed eye diseased female turtle. Well, I'm Dylan, and I'll see you guys later.